Hello everybody and welcome back to Big Dan's channel. I am of course as always Big Dan and today I'm going to be discussing Long Legs, the new horror film that has released recently starring Michael Monroe and Nicolas Cage. So the first thing I want to say about this is that I didn't actually originally plan on going to see this one. It was someone took me to it basically just said suggested it to us. I went and watched it yesterday at the time of me filming this. I will admit, I, I went in knowing like absolutely nothing about it. I'd seen maybe like an advert or two here and there, but that was it. And I didn't really plan on going to see this originally, as I said. I will say, though, I am actually quite glad I went to see it. The thing with it, it's got some really strong performances in it. I didn't actually know Nicolas Cage was in this film originally. Because it just, I don't know, it just doesn't really seem like one he'd be in. No, nothing against him, because I want to say the performances here are really strong, especially from him. There's nothing wrong with any of the other ones. But his in particular, it really stood out to us as just one that was like really well done. And I feel like you could see him underneath the makeup and that, you could tell it was him. But you could, he, I don't know, you just really did well in the performance. And I thought he did a brilliant job. And I think it just goes to show how versatile of an actor he is, really. Because like, obviously, I mean, this is the same man who was Ghost Rider. So, you know, I think that's saying something about how well he can just, you know, work in a lot of different acting roles. And as well as that, it was really shocking. Like, I, I remember the person who I went to see this with, she said to us that apparently some people had called it like the scariest film of the year or something like that. And I'll say this, I wouldn't go that far with it. But at the same time, I did really like the film and I did think it had some really shocking moments to it and that. So I thought it was really well done in that aspect. But yeah, I did really like the shocking aspects of it. And for horror, especially in this day and age, where to be honest, I feel like a lot of them were becoming more and more mid, I did think it did a good job of sort of standing out a bit more if that makes sense um, but yeah i did really like that aspect of the film the shockingness of it i will admit where as far as problems go with the film i did think it was a little bit too slow moving because in case you didn't know this the film is about an hour 40 in its length so and i could kind of feel the running length of it even though it wasn't that long like i watched obviously kind of kindness just last week and it just i don't know if all it was only an hour 40 long, this definitely fell longer, which is like, you know, if Kinds of Kindness is uh, nearly three hours long and this thing's barely an hour and a half over, but barely more than an hour and a half, I mean, then I think it's saying something about the pacing of the film and that, and I think it was just because as much as it had those shocking moments, there was bits throughout where you were like, oh, nothing's going to happen here, and I will admit there was bits where it did catch us by surprise with that, where something did actually happen, but at the same time, for the majority of it, you're like, yeah, I feel pretty safe watching this right now. Can we just like get back to, you know, what we're here for, if that makes sense. And on top of that as well, when it came to the final plot twist of the film, I will admit I'm someone who usually gets caught off guard by plot twists. I'm a bit of a dunce when it comes to them, to be honest. I don't really think that much about them. And I just, I'm always like, wow, wow. Or even if like everyone else can like already say coming a mile away. And even with this, and the plot twist here, it did catch me a little bit by surprise, but even so, it was just a bit, like, I could kind of see it coming, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I don't know, it just didn't really catch us by surprise, and I was like, so, you know, if when it happened, like, not be harsh about it, but I could kind of tell it was coming. But even so, I can still sort of forgive this a bit for the fact that the film's weirdness, because it was truly just strange, and it... Yeah, the weirdness of it, it was so well done, like, creating that weird aspect, I don't know how else to put it. It was a good kind of weird, if that makes sense, like, it wasn't like a weird one where I was in, like, what? Like, it was a weird and in, as in enjoyable, and I felt like, for all it had those big pacing problems, it did sort of dampen it down a bit, because I was like, oh, okay, you know, sort of when it happened, so I thought that was a really nice aspect added to the film, and yeah, I just thought it was a really nice way of sort of, pushing me feel well not pushing me score but like helping alleviate some of the poor pace and that I felt the film had so it was nice to have that ball back into it so for all of the reasons I've mentioned including obviously the pace being a bit bad the plot twist not being the best but obviously the strong performances the you know unique sort of story of it a little bit and the just outright weirdness of it and Nicolas Cage just absolutely being brilliant in his performance here. My final verdict for Long Legs is a 7 out of 10. That again, just like Kinds of Kindness, my rating is slightly below the normal one. But, I don't know. I just, 
it wasn't a four star film it was i don't know what's happened maybe it's just because i'm getting pickier since i'm going back into films again now after a, a several months high years but yeah i don't know it just as much as i know a lot of people were giving this four stars and i've seen the adverts afterwards just how people are describing it i just kind of quite agree with some of the stuff they're saying like i just don't think it's as brilliant sometimes masterpiece people are making it out would be like yeah i enjoyed it and it's definitely a film worth watching it was really creepy but it was just i don't know it it was decent again it was decent it's nothing against it i'd still recommend it for watching that it's just yeah it wasn't a masterpiece like well not a masterpiece like a great film like everyone's saying but even so i'd still consider it a film worth watch and if you've got the time and money to go and see it I'd recommend giving this in a watch. That's just my take on it. So, um, yeah, that's about all I've got to say for the film. Thank you guys for watching. Other than that, I am out. Peace.